What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Everyday Curry for Everyday Guy. We've got a lot to talk about today. I've got a small review to show you. I've got a mail time, but I've got to also talk to you about Patreon. And I've got to talk to you as well about some holsters. Okay, let's start off with Patreon. First and foremostly, I want to say a huge thanks to Tyron R, Terence Drake, Sheldon Locke and Travis House, who are my first, first four patrons on Patreon. This channel officially has a Patreon account. If you want to check it out, it's the very first link down below. If you're watching on Facebook or Instagram, it'll be in the comments. And if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the description. Now, how am I going to reward Patreons? Firstly, every month I'm going to do a draw for an EDC ready pack. Obviously, gear not included, but an EDC ready pack is basically what I consider to be the best way to carry a trauma kit zero zip technology i did a full review of it it's popping up in your screen right now so pretty much if you join on patreon now the probability of you winning one of these is like one in four or one in five also if you want urban warrior just released for summer this super cool tactical apron i don't even know what it's called right that is going to be an option if you are a patreon that does win you can choose to want that at a certain point on patreon i'm going to start giving away gear now that gear is going to include things like an olight warrior mini 2 and olight warrior x3 and when i reach a certain point i'm going to give away one of these this is a sample of the knife i designed that never went into production is that focusing this is a sample of the knife I designed that never went into production. Um, I've had this for a while. I've never used it. As you can see, that Cedar coat is perfectly clean. And I'm going to give this away to one of my patrons. Now, guys, the reason I'm doing that is because as the production quality of this channel has improved, so has the cost. And as you know, I don't get support from YouTube. YouTube doesn't pay me a single cent. Um, my affiliate links kind of sometimes people use my reviews to buy things, but they don't use the affiliate link. I can't really be upset with them about that because it's, it's like if they want to use it, they can. If they don't want to use it, they can't. But patrons literally are at the point where they make this channel possible and the improvements on this channel is literally coming from those people's support. If you want to support me on Patreon, it's like $5, the cost of a few beers. Pop down to the link below. Please show your support. I will be adding tiers. We currently only have one tier of $5. I, I, I'm even amazed that people did that, but there you go. The E is going to move towards a time when patrons get exclusive content, like, like live streams and all those things. So it is going to be beneficial to be a patron. I'm going to try my best to speak to people who have supplied me with gear to review and ask them if it's okay if once I've reviewed that gear, I give it away to one of my patrons because there's some gear that I have that I don't carry and it's much better to be out there in the world being used than to be sitting in my in my gearbox of which I have five, okay? But I have to be respectful to the supplier. The supplier might say, Ryan, please hang on to it because you want to take some pictures of it and that sort of thing. If the supplier says yes, then I'm going to add it to, to my giveaways. I've spoken to Olight. They've given me the green light. Obviously, I own this and no one else in the world does except for one person one day on Patreon. So, like I said, if you want to support me, guys, Patreon link down below. I would really, really appreciate it. I had a question about holsters. Someone wanted to know what battle belt holsters I run. <clears throat> so, primarily Southwest holsters. This is this is the Sidewinder, and this is the Mamba. The Mamba basically is an outside the waistband also that I have attached to a Safari Land UBL. Um, these holsters are really cool. Obviously, with this, you just have the holster retention in the holster itself. And then the Sidewinder comes with a um, quick-release plate from Blade Tech, as well as a leg strap and a drop leg mount that goes onto your battle belt. And this obviously has a um, retention device that you disengage to remove your firearm so for me pretty much is primarily southwest holsters for my battle belt i will do a battle belt review soon a review of my battle belt but guys if you wonder if you want really cool outside the waistband um, battle belt holsters check out southwest holsters then 
I have a mail time. So I know who this is from. This is from my good friend JC Lamprecht over at Bravo Tactical Africa. And this is a Speed Timer 3000. I posted on Instagram recently if, like, what shot timers people recommend I use and if all shot timers are created equal. And JC said he has a, a spare one that he wouldn't mind hooking me up with. And this is that spare one. So, JC, I just want to say I really, really appreciate you hooking me up with this. Um, mother, that is freaking loud. <laughs> JC, I'm going to put this sucker off. JC, I really appreciate you hooking me up with this. I will use it and take care of it. I really, really appreciate you letting me use this. And this will just add another dimension to my range videos that I make every Friday. Now, I want to show you something cool. This is a speed reloader from SeaTac Tactical Gear. I want to say huge thanks to Joyce for hooking me up with this. I promised you guys, oh, I promised her actually, I'm going to show on my channel how this works. I've had this for a while. I've used it on course. It is really, really convenient. These cost only like 250 bucks. I'll leave SeaTac linked down below where you can pick these up. And basically what these do, I'm going to try to show you this on the channel, or I'm trying to show you this now as best I can. So it comprises of two parts. Um, you've got this piece here, which is like a guide for your rounds. And then you've got this, which is like a plunger. I'll explain in a second. So you take your mag and you stick it in here. It shows you on this side the, di the direction of the bullets of which the bullet should face. So you slide your mag in seated nice and solidly, okay? Then, this is the best way to show it. You take the speed reload and you hold it at the angle and you guide it into the round or you guide the, guide the round into it and it picks it up like that. Can you guys see that? It's like, it's like properly in there, right? So it can't come out. So then you take your plunger and you put the this part of the plunger against the rounds I then put it against my chest like this and you you kind of want to do this in one smooth motion but press down and press all the way in and your rounds are loaded right guys it's super easy you can load up to 10 rounds at a time into the sucker I'll show you again uh, maybe if I hold it like that you can see take it at the angle guide the round into that sucker. Now what's important, what you don't want is, you want this to be kind of like nice and loose and free, but you don't want this round to get all the way in there before you've plunged it down. Because then it kind of like falls out a bit and it becomes a bit difficult to put in. So basically that situation, hold it down at a downwards angle like this, so it doesn't fall in and it's going in under the force of you pressing the plunger. Good to go, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you are someone like me who shoots really often, this really does make it easier on your fingers and thumbs, especially when you do load five, ten, fifteen rounds at a time. And on course, it can really decrease your turnaround time. Like people will still be standing there loading, and you've loaded fifteen rounds in like five seconds. So it's a very cool little. Um, addition to your range kit and I do just want to say it will pick up pretty much anything like if you look at these rounds right they sit quite deep in the box all you have to do is get that guide onto the round onto the base of the round and it will pick it up these are actually stuck in this box but you see what I'm saying so I also just want to show you you don't have to like load five at a time like I've got one two three four five six rounds here um Put that in like that flip that over this piece on put it like at the downward angle against your chest and like in one smooth motion tuck that sucker in and you're good to go so i do want to say thank you to joyce for my SeaTac -Tac tactical gear speed reload i'll leave them linked down below if you want to pick up one for yourself like i said they're only 250 bucks so it's not that bad let's do the pocket dump sorry about the sound changing Left rear pocket is my Leatherman Skeletool. A belt, as always, is Core Essentials. Holster is Southwest Holsters Rattler 2.0. 
Firearm, Glock 19, Hollis and Red Dot, uh, Shawfire, X300, TR1 Trigger Upgrade, Rushby Industries Base Plate, which I do quite like. Um, my knife is my Benchmade Griptilian with my Snaggletooth um, Assisted Opener, which is quite cool. Pen is open to wallet in wallet pocket of pants is Strauss and Co. I think it's the crewman wallets on my website. Gear, pants, t-shirt, everything is Urban Warrior. Guys, um, first of all, thank you to all my patrons, to Tyron, Terrence, Sheldon and Travis. I hope, I really hope I can get more. I would really appreciate it. But as you know, I'm going to do my best to provide you with the best content I possibly can regardless. Cool prizes coming to patrons patrons um and some one of you is eventually going to win a knife that no one on earth will ever have that is it guys have a good week be safe train hard cheers god bless